Could you imagine Bob Clark, the director of Black Christmas, and Tom Savini, the special effects guru responsible for Day of the Dead, The Prowler, and The Burning, working together on a horror movie in 1974? If only there was a movie like that. Seriously, I wish there was a movie like that. Just shovel it into my mouth, pump it straight into my veins. I need something exactly the way I described it. But I don't think there is anything like that. You know, a guy can dream though. Dream a death dream, that is. Welcome to the Hellbound Horror Show. Death Dream was a first time watch for me and wow, it's a real banger. But like most of these hidden or forgotten films, it's best to go in mostly blind. Now, before I go into the brief plot synopsis, I just wanna say that this is a tense, creepy, slightly political blast of a film and it's totally worth a watch. If you're anything like me and you don't like being spoiled, that's all you need to know. Everyone else, let's dive into the plot. And now, our feature presentation. We open on some screams and some shots of the war, and then we sneak in on a family having dinner. We have a father, mother, and their daughter. They talk about Andy, their son, who is currently serving in the war, and they haven't heard from him in months. A knock on the door is heard, and it's a commanding officer. He comes with sad news and hands the father a letter. It's a genuinely heartbreaking scene of a family finding out that their child died at war. Don't do it! Later that night, a truck driver sees a hitchhiker on the road, and since the hitchhiker's in army gear, he decides to pick him up. In the middle of the night, Kathy, the daughter, believes that she heard someone downstairs. The dad grabs the gun, and holy crap, <laughs> their son Andy is home. They rejoice and slowly begin to catch up. Andy is a bit weird, though. They tell him that the commanding officer came by and gave them the news that Andy had died. They actually said that my son was dead. I was. How absurd. The next morning, the cops find out that a trucker was murdered last night. His throat was slit and he had needle marks in his arms. It's the same trucker that picked up that hitchhiker. Andy doesn't want anyone to know that he's back. Instead, he stays relatively quiet. He doesn't eat doesn't go out, just sits in his room on a rocking chair. At first, the family is very understanding, but eventually they begin to worry about Andy. He is acting really strange, and the dad eventually starts to get fed up with it. Then, the worst possible thing happens. Here's a writing tip 101 for anyone. If you ever want an audience to hate your character, just have them hurt a dog. And that's exactly what Andy does. He kills the family pet. The dad is furious and the mom tries to protect Andy. The dad goes to the local bar and gets hammered. The local doctor's at the bar and the dad opens up to the doctor, the same doctor who examined the body of the trucker. As the dad opens up about Andy, the doc begins to put pieces together. What happened to Andy? How is he still alive? And what is wrong with him? Eventually, things go off the wall and we get some pretty cool death scenes and uh, almost zombie-like makeup. The ending is a blast, but I don't want to spoil too much. Hopefully, it's just enough of the story for you to decide if it sounds like your cup of tea or not. Death Dream is a fantastically creepy film that handles some pretty dark and bleak stuff. The whole idea of coming back from war at any cost is a subject I really don't feel comfortable diving into. There's a lot to unpack here, and there are many ways of looking at it. The story feels very much like a continuation of the Monkey Paw story meets vampires with some social commentary on bringing the war back home and the drug pandemic. This little film has a lot to say, and it does it rather well. This was the first film Tom Savini worked on, but he wasn't the lead guy. He worked behind Alan Ormsby, who also wrote Death Dream, who I talked about briefly in my popcorn review. Bob Clark directed this film and he did a great job with it. He was on a roll during this time period with Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, Death Dream, and then Black Christmas. Seriously, he was on fire. Blue Underground has a DVD and Blu-ray of this film available. I have the DVD, but I would go with the Blu-ray if you want more special features. It's a great transfer and the behind the scenes is very informative. Death Dream is a great little film and I totally recommend it. Yeah, 
It's a slow burn for sure, but the idea and the concept alone are on the highest level of the creepy scale. And that's all I have for tonight. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and take care, everyone. Take care.